Alright guys, so today we are going to be doing cha-ching number 18 is what we are at. So I'm just going to go through everything. I think I wrote down just a couple extra than what I normally do. I feel like the last one I kind of rushed through a little bit, um, but I do want to try and talk about some things as I do them too. Um, and when I can remember uh, what I actually like paid for the item. So first thing I left off on was a Simply Southern wallet. This was new with tag. Um, I got it at a yard sale. I think I paid $2 for it. Unfortunately, it really wasn't worth much. Um, I did sell it for $9.99. So not a really great profit there. I figured since it was new with the tag that maybe it would be worth a little more than that. But yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe Simply Southern isn't that great of a brand, maybe? I'm not sure. I thought it was a really cute wallet, though, so I just decided to pick it up when I was at that yard sale. Uh, next thing, this was a good sale. It was a Yankee Candle Tart Warmer, so it kind of looked like um, a clothes line with clothes hanging up, and Eric actually picked this up at Goodwill. This was one of his finds, and we sold that for $65.99. So definitely, I do think some of the Yankee Candle items uh, can be really good for resale. I know I sold a Yankee Candle um, lamp shade kind of topper already before for a decent amount, so definitely something to kind of keep your eye out on. Um, it just kind of, I think, depends on what it is and what the print is and things like that. So you'll definitely have to just look it up if you ever come across one and um, find out if it's worth um, picking up to resell. Uh, so yeah, that was a really good sale. So that was exciting. He was really excited. Uh, next was a pair of LA Blues denim bibs. And I am telling you guys, bibs sell. It doesn't matter what the brand is, bibs sell. So if you ever find any denim bibs, whether they're long pant, like jean style or shorts or anything like that, definitely pick them up. I think the pant leg style um, sells for a higher price than like the shorts, but I would still pick up any and all bibs that you find. I got these for $1 and they sold for $25.99. So um, yeah, if you're getting them for a buck, just buy them because you'll definitely make more than a dollar um, back off of them. Uh, let's see, next was a red white stag wallet. White stag, I think it sold at Walmart. It's not like any kind of designer brand or anything like that, but I got this out for free from um, a curbside curb alert, so I didn't pay anything for it and it sold for $9.99. So not a whole lot, but considering I didn't pay anything for it, um, that's 100% profit there, so that's awesome. Uh, next we have a ceramic, this was a mushroom. It was kind of like one of those things I think, you know, back, back in the day you could get to paint type of thing. But mushroom stuff seems to sell, um, you know, everyone kind of decorates differently with their kitchens and stuff, whether it's roosters or apples or lemons or mushrooms. Um, so this you could use for, to hold napkins or even like a sponge um, at your kitchen sink. So I got this at a yard sale. I forget what I paid for. It was either a quarter or 50 cents. I don't think it was even a dollar, uh, but it sold for $11.49. Next was this antique. It was by Walborg, New York. It was a coin purse, kind of like a coin purse wallet. Um, definitely old. I got this at a yard sale. It was kind of like a yard sale slash estate sale, and I think I think they charged me a dollar for it, um, maybe two at the most, but I can't remember. Uh, but it sold for $25.99. Uh, next thing I have was just some old, 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 old made cars, <laughs> old made cards. Um, I think people use these for like different crafting type projects and things like that. Um, especially the older ones, the more vintage ones. They have such awesome 
uh, prints on them. The illustrations are just so much fun. Um, so just that little lot of old made cards sold for $12.99. So just some stuff I had like laying around. Um, I had found those in a box of just random stuff I had and it's like, well, I'm just gonna list these and well, they sold. So that's awesome. Uh, next I have a Torrid tank top. This one was a um, kind of like leopard print and black tank top. It sold for $19.99. You guys know I love picking up anything by Torrid brand. I think it sells um, fairly quickly. Uh, let's see, next was a vintage dress by Bentley. I can't remember where I got this. It was probably from a fill -a bag rummage sale. I like the look of it because it was definitely like from, I would say, late 90s maybe. Um, it sold for $14.99. I sold a Susan Graver dress. <laughs> I just sold something else. Sorry about that. I got my notifications on a little bit high there. Someone bid on a Boys Bears trinket box that I got from the rummage sale. Okay, so the Susan Graver dress, I said sold for $19.99. Um, I can't remember where I got that either. I'm really horrible at remembering where I purchased things and what I purchased them for, but um, I'm sure I didn't pay much because you guys know I don't like paying much for the stuff that I buy. Um, oh, this one was good. This was an Avon uh, cologne called Iron Man. I sold that for $23.99. So this is an instance of some Avon sells. So definitely if you find the Iron Man scent, it is um, a desirable fragrance. Uh, I believe I paid a quarter for this or 50 cents. So to sell it for $23.99 is awesome. Uh, next was a Yahtzee handheld game. Uh, this actually went to a subscriber. I believe she purchased it uh, for her mother. So I hope her mom enjoyed playing that. Um, I sold that for $9.99 and I believe I got that at a yard sale for maybe a quarter or 50 cents. Um, oh, I sold one of my Affliction shirts. Um, I had purchased a bunch of Affliction men's uh, shirts at a yard sale one day. This was um, a couple weeks back. I don't have them all listed. Um, they're all like long sleeves and stuff like that. So I'm assuming they'll probably sell more closer to, you know, when summer's over and people are looking for like fall, winter type clothes. Um, but I do have to get the rest of them listed. But regardless, it sold for $19.99, which is pretty much like the price I'm probably going to post them up for. Uh, next was that Judith Ripka necklace that I got at a yard sale for $5. I'm pretty sure this went to a subscriber and it sold for $65. So that was really awesome. That necklace, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but I had gone to the yard sale and I was talking to the lady at the yard sale because I had asked her about the necklace and I asked her if it was Brighton because it just kind of resembled like the Brighton look. I mean, Brighton has a look. And she said, no, it was by someone um, from QVC named, she told me Rippa. So I was thinking like Kelly Rippa because that was the only Rippa I could really like think of that, you know, would possibly have a jewelry line out. So I just, I, walked away from it because I didn't think it was really anything. And then later on when I went home, I was trying to find out like if Kelly Ripa had a jewelry line and if it was worth anything and that kind of stuff. And then I found out it was actually Judith Ripka. So she kind of said wrong um, the name, which, you know, I didn't know at the time. So I actually went back to the yard sale the next day and it was still there. So I purchased it. So now I know if I ever see Judith Ripka jewelry at a yard sale to pick it up because she makes really nice jewelry. Um, next was a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, handkerchief, bandana. I mean, because of all the coronavirus, I don't know if someone purchased this just to use. Um, 
you know, to protect themselves while they're out and about or if they're just, you know, bought in as like a collector's type item because it is a, a vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, hanky and that sold for $14.99. So this actually belonged to my aunt. Um, I am, I have a couple of things that she gave me to sell for her on eBay. So we're doing kind of like a half and half thing. So I sell it for her. Um, obviously I take out my fees and everything like that. And then I give her um, her half, her half of the share when something sells that, you know, I got from her. So that was actually her sale. So I didn't get, you know, that full amount or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I have really like a lot of fun doing that for her and I just, I paid her from this last week when I went over and I gave her that angel on um, those two, the sisters angel um, music box that I picked up at the yard sale one day. Um, I gave her that and she was really tickled pink by that. So, um, I don't think I sold anything else yet that was hers, but obviously I'll mention that if, you know would come up again. Uh, next was a cabby uh, shrug wrap type thing. I got this at Goodwill during dollar days. So I only paid a dollar for it and it sold for $18.99. I feel like cabby is a good brand to pick up, but I have other cabby items uh, for sale that aren't selling that I've had for a while. So I don't know if just like certain pieces are more sellable than others i'm not entirely sure so when i see cabby i'm kind of hesitant to pick it up just because i have other pieces that haven't sold kind of thing all right next was a coach makeup bag i got this at a yard sale i believe for a dollar um I was surprised with this. This only sold for $9.99. I figured it would go a little bit higher than that, but it didn't. So, um, you know, and I've said before, like not all coach sells for real decent money. I, this one just surprised me though, cause it was a really pretty print, but um, you know, I'm so happy it's out of the house. <laughs> uh, next was a Cookie Lee necklace. I think this went to a subscriber as well. And that sold for $9.99. And I definitely got this at a yard sale, but I can't remember what I paid for it. I think I've had it for a little while now. Okay, Elisa Frank purple uh, zip around binder. I got this at Goodwill and it sold for $43.99. Um, vintage Lisa Frank is worth money. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned, I, I probably mentioned it in a cha-ching before, um, but definitely keep your eye out for vintage Lisa Frank. And if you can't, if you don't know what constitutes a vintage Lisa Frank, um, I'll try to pop up a picture as I'm talking about this, but the words Lisa Frank, the L and the F would be capitalized, if that makes sense. I'll put like a newer Lisa Frank and a, a vintage Lisa Frank so you can kind of get an idea of what each one looks like. Um, I think some of the newer ones, uh, I think some of that stuff sells decently as well, but definitely you'd want to look for vintage. Okay, I sold a... AG hair shampoo. This was like a real big bottle of shampoo for $25.99. Definitely beauty related stuff. I can do really well on eBay. Um, next was an Estee Lauder. This was a lot of little star charms that I guess would have gone on, like you could put them on a bracelet or just use them for like crafting things or what have you. Pretty sure a subscriber purchased those as well, and they sold for $11.99. I sold a yellow chicken plate by Magenta for $15.99. I think I paid $2 for that plate at a yard sale. I sold a lot of vintage mushroom picks. I picked 
these up. It was a bag full for a dollar and they sold for $14.99. In my last cha-ching, I had sold those vintage Christmas picks. So now when I see vintage picks, I just pick them up because they seem to sell. Obviously the Christmas ones did better, but these ones were really unique and interesting. So um, I thought that was great since I only paid a dollar for them. I sold a Starbucks California mug. I believe um, I paid a dollar for this at a yard sale and it sold for $15.99. I sold um, one of those cats that I got at a yard sale. It was by Susie Marsh. It was made of like a stone material. It was a really nice little um, figure and it sold for $15.50. I probably paid like a quarter or 50 cents for it. And at the same sale, I bought that cat. I bought this Wizard of Paws mug that also sold and that sold for $12.99. I was actually going to keep that mug, but I have like a lot of mugs. So I feel I felt like I didn't really need another one. So I let that one go and it sold. So again, I probably paid a quarter or 50 cents um, nothing at that yard sale was marked, but my bill was like barely nothing. I sold a Gap velvet shirt. This one was older. Um, I believe it was from the early 2000s and that sold for $11.99. I put Y2K fashion in the title of that since it was from the early 2000s and some what you would consider Y2K fashions do sell uh, well. That one not so much, but definitely um, if it's something like if you're if you sell clothing a lot, uh, maybe go on eBay and you know put in Y2K and then go to the categories and look at the clothes and kind of get an idea of what's selling type of thing. Because I know I sold a pair of shoes and I put that in the title and they went for a lot of money. Okay, next was a pair of Clark's sandals that sold for $25.99. Guys know I love picking up Clark's. Oh, this was fun. This was that iZone camera film that I got for free from a Curb Alert and it sold for $12.99. So definitely if you find iZone film, I feel like if you have more than just, you know, one pack, like if you could lot them together, like if you had more, um, you probably pro would probably make more. Um, it was also expired, but since you can't find it anymore, people still buy it and use it. I don't think anything is really necessarily wrong with it, um, but yeah, if I would ever find new in the package iZone film, even for sale at like the thrift store or something, I would definitely get it. Eric sold one of his Kurt Adler, um, the Noah's Ark. He picked up these, all of these figures, these Angel Heights figures at a yard sale um, one day when we were out. And he sold quite a few of them already. So this one sold for $34.99. Um, and then I'll just put this one next because someone purchased three different pieces um, from him of the Kurt Adler Angel Heights. There was an angel that sold for $21.99, a little tree that sold for $19.99, and a lamp post that sold for $18.99. So these were all just like little like town type thing that you could essentially like build um, where you could buy like the buildings and the little angels and then like pieces like trees and lamp posts and things like that. So he still has quite a bit listed um, from you know the the big old tote that he had bought but you know some of it is going so that's awesome. I sold a vintage Max Factor cat. I also got this at the same sale. I purchased that um, that antique Wahlberg uh, coin purse from, and the perfume in this was gone. There, you know, over time it just had all dried up. But it was like the cutest little cat in there. 
uh, with these rhinestone eyes. It was absolutely gorgeous. And that sold for $11.99. I feel like the Max Factor cats that are like that, I think you can get more for the ones where like the perfume is still, you know, in the bottle. I sold a lot of Avon uh, perfume samples. These are an older scent um, from the Comfort Scents line. I don't remember exactly when these came out. I want to say it was sometime in the 90s. Avon came out with a line of like perfumes and fragrances called Comfort Scents. And they were like weirdly interesting um, fragrances, almost like Demeter, if anyone's familiar with Demeter and how they have like really weird off the wall type scents. But the Avon, they would have smells like um, fresh linen and stuff like that. So not like totally off the wall, but just different, unique kind of fragrances. But anyway, um, I do believe some of those fragrances are worth money and you know, I just sold a couple samples of the one kind for $9.99. So that's not too bad, I think. Okay. Oh, and I think like one of the fragrances might have been like denim or something. Warm denim. I don't know. Distressed denim. That doesn't sound right. I can't remember exactly what all the fragrances were. But if you go to eBay and put in Avon Comfort Scents then you'd be able to see what fragrances they were and you know what they're selling for if you would ever come across any of them. Uh, next was a Kate Spade pink uh, satchel purse. I got this at a yard sale. I think I only paid a dollar for it and it sold for $49.99 so that was awesome. I cleaned that one up like when I got it it, it definitely needed cleaned and sometimes just you know buying something that needs a little bit of cleaning putting a little bit of elbow grease into it you know you can really like spruce things back to a really nice condition um, especially like if you're only putting a little bit of money in sometimes it's worth that extra time to buy it and get it back to looking really nice and then selling it for you know a decent profit uh, next was a pair of men's Cole Haan uh, Oxford shoes. Eric picked these up at Goodwill and they sold for $49.99 as well. So Cole Haan in, a, in of itself is usually a pretty good brand um, to pick up regardless. But these were really nice, had nice coloring and stuff like that. So... Um, Next was a purse. This purse was amazing. It was by a company called JP Orse and it was a leather cat purse and that sold for $19.99. I think I got it for a dollar at a yard sale. Um, a coach jewelry set. I got this at a yard sale as well. It was brand new, still in the box. I feel like I maybe paid two bucks for it. It was crazy that I got it for so cheap. And that sold for $49.99. There's a theme here of $49.99, um, this cha-ching. Uh, next was a just a lot of lipsticks that I had and an Estee Lauder lipstick holder. Um, you know, I have so much makeup and so many beauty products. Like, I was subscribed to Ipsy for quite a long time. And I got rid of my subscription a while ago just because I was getting way too much um, beauty products. So I kind of just put together a little lot of lip products because I had that Estee Lauder holder and just kind of lauded it all together and sold that for $19.99. Oh, I sold that Bob Mackie angel pin for $39.99. I can't remember what I paid for it. I might have paid $5 for it. I may have, I can't remember, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a whole lot that I paid for it and that was a beautiful pin. I wish that I had picked up the other pins when I got that pin, but I just picked up the Bob Mackie because it was the only one that like I really knew um, the name of. Uh, next was a pair of Calvin Klein jeans. These were new with tag. I think I got these at the Goodwill bins um, and they went for $9.99, which isn't a whole lot, but since they came from the bins, um, I'm sure I didn't really pay much for them. 
I sold a Marshall pottery plate for $15.99. I got this, I'm pretty sure, at a yard sale, probably for like a dollar. I sold a Foo Dog statue for $19.99. I got that at Goodwill. Um, so pretty much every, well, I've only ever purchased another, one other set of um, those Foo Dogs and they sold as well. So, so far I'm two and two with the food dogs. So if I ever find any more, I'm definitely gonna pick them up because they seem to sell. And let's see, we got a Salmon Falls blueberry. This was like a crock jug pitcher thing uh, that sold for $12.99. Um, I, I paid a dollar for that at a yard sale. I didn't really know much about those types of pottery when I purchased them, but I was only paying a dollar for them. So I was like, I'm just gonna take the, the gamble of a dollar. And then now, like when I see these pieces, I kind of, you know, decide whether or not I'm gonna buy, buy them to resell again or just let them sit, you know, depending on what um, I'm picking them up for essentially. So if I find another one of those for a dollar, I'd probably buy it again, even though it didn't sell for a ton. Um, but obviously like if I'm at a yard sale and someone wants like $5 for it, I'm probably not gonna pay that. Um, and then the last thing for this chiching was a pair of Converse shoes that I sold for $39.99. So that is everything for this cha-ching. We'll be on to cha-ching number 19 very soon. Um, sales have been really good recently. Um, even just this morning, I sold that Floby. If you guys remember that um, Floby haircutting system that, and something else. <laughs> this is awesome. But anyway, um, the Floby haircutting system that Eric won at the auction the other week uh, for $24. Um, just kind of sneak peek. Uh, I sold that for $189.99 today. So that was an awesome flip. I was so ecstatic about that. Um, I don't think I'll ever find another Floby out in the wild again, but if I do, I'm going to be <laughs> so incredibly happy. Um, I'm curious to see what happened here. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow, that is a great sale too. Um, this won't be to like a cha-ching uh, for a while, but I sold a lot of um, nine um, bounty paper towels. Uh, just a little information. Um, I had gotten like people asking like why I had these paper towels listed so high because people were just automatically assuming that I was trying to price gouge because of the whole coronavirus thing. Um, but that's not the case. There are bounty paper towels, specific ones that have Dawn like dish detergent kind of like in the towel. So when you wet them, they kind of soap up and they discontinued those. You cannot buy them anymore and they're worth a lot of money. So if you would ever happen to be at a yard sale where someone like maybe was an extreme couponer or something like that and they just have like a lot of stock of these specific bounty paper towels with Dawn, I'll post a picture up so you can see what they look like. Um, definitely pick them up because they are discontinued and hard to find and people love them. Um, I think especially to people with RVs who go camping and things of that nature. Um, but anyway, I had purchased a lot of, how many was it in there? A lot of nine. I got a lot of nine of them off of Facebook Marketplace from someone. And I paid, I believe I paid seven dollars. $7? Did I pay $7 for them all? I can't remember. Might have been a little more than that. Anyway, I just sold them for $99.99. So that's just, that's awesome. So definitely keep an eye out for them paper towels if you would ever see them. But that is everything for this cha-ching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know what you thought down below. I hear Eric creeping behind me. He's got the paper towels. We gotta get them uh, ready to ship because he's going to go to the post office. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.